Hey Capricorn, it's me Alex and I'm here to bring you guys your bonus weekend reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's see what God Angels Universe has for you, Cappy. Capricorn. And the way in which I've determined bonuses is basically who had the highest viewership. Um, the four top signs that has the higher highest viewership of the previous week. Mm. Boy, you got the Emperor and the Ten of Cups. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody's hurt and you're still not over the past. Seven of Swords is almost like they're trying to create the illusion that they're done. I'm fed up. I'm out of here. This is some sort of family situation. Um, could be over finances. Oh, somebody feels like they don't have financial support in the home and it's starting to affect them emotionally. Well, thank you. That was a quick message. Mm-hmm. Five, five, not five, this seven. Three of wands. Yeah, I feel like you guys are trying to work towards some sort of solution here. And it has to do with money, a job, and again, the financial financial stability. I feel like there's some sort of disagreement in the household. I also feel what I'm hearing is it, it kind of feels like somebody is not meeting the other person's expectations. They're falling below in the expectation part. I also kind of feel like one person is focused on finances. The other person is focused on family and love. I also kind of feel like somebody is emotionally checked out. And that is... Um, Angels are saying it's it's putting the weight on someone else in this and that's causing them to be just a little bit frustrated. I feel like somebody's going to have to make a decision based on what happens going forward, but I feel like whomever that decision maker is, excuse me, instead of doing it as a unit, they're going to have to do it as a as an individual. Angels are saying that could be the only way to restore peace in the home. A lot of arguments. Um, somebody's not over the past. I'm also kind of getting to with the Seven of Swords. I feel like maybe this Queen of Wands is Aries. Feels like you Capricorn are obligated to take care of the family. You made this promise to us. So, you know, yeah, you cheated on me all of those years. So you need to pick up the bill. You need to pick up the flack. And I feel like where you're concerned now, I see why the Seven of Swords is there because there was some deceit possibly on your behalf, could be on your person's behalf, Capricorn. Um, and I'm hearing that somebody needs to forgive and stop looking at the past, start looking more towards the future. But I feel like with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Wands, the arguments are about this deceit, about this you know, you leaving it all up to me or this, this, this deceit of, yeah, you kept cheating on me. So I ain't worried about the property taxes this year. You pay them. Ooh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. How many people we have on the table? All right. We have the emperor. I normally don't count the emperor as the lover because they ain't nothing loving about the emperor. He's pretty stoic and rigid and focused. But I feel like that's exactly your advice. You need to, in looking towards the future, and so again, it's like somebody, instead of looking towards the future, they're looking towards a path, past. I feel like maybe you Capricorn are trying to rally them. Yeah, you know, let's get back to, you know, our relationship from when we first met. But the five of swords and five of cups is, excuse me, five of wands and five of cups is just like, ugh. 
Here is a third party. It could be a third party. I just noticed that that was the Three of Cups. And there she is. Queen of Swords. Yeah, but that Queen of Swords with the King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles just kind of feels like somebody has emotionally checked out. You do have the Eight of Wands here with the Queen of Wands. Um, somebody could have got caught cheating. Um, I know this came up in your previous readings, Capricorn. But I feel like the turning her back on the emotions with the attraction card is um, a somebody stepping outside of the home and breaking up the family and breaking up the king of pentacles nine of pentacles breaking up money angels are saying for some of you guys you could be going through a divorce king of pentacles nine of pentacles is how how do we divvy up everything yeah five of swords somebody's getting a hat on to dodge <clears throat> lovers The lovers with the um, Emperor and the Capricorn world card is, this is not what I signed up for. Like when I married you, I didn't marry you knowing that, you know, you were going to be a workaholic and, you know, because that's also third party as in there is an entity out there that's distracting one person from the relationship. Mm, page of cups i'm also hearing too one of you guys could have met the love of your life and decided okay well i obviously didn't marry the person i was meant to be with so uh you know let me try to you know i'll file for divorce and and get ready to sever these ties and work towards my new relationship somebody is abandoning or breaking out of an old relationship. They're wanting to start anew with this lover. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, that's you, Capricorn. So you have the Queen of Pentacles here with the King of Pentacles. There's your power couple. Angels just said to me, too, somebody's trying to get through a, a quick divorce. Whatever that means to you. Taurus, Libra, Aries... Gemini, Capricorn, Aries, Pisces, and Capricorn there. So you got Capricorn twice on the table. Playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. If the overworking is your storyline, I feel like you need to check back in emotionally with your relationship. Give, and re uh, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Yeah, I just said check back in your relationship. Not only that, but angels are also saying to me too, that third party, yes, could have been that somebody was a workaholic, but then they met somebody at work and possibly cheated with that person at work. Stay optimistic about your love life. Um, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yeah, and last but not least, healing family issues. Your love life is being uh, love life benefits as you forgive your parents. There's the parent children. You you both love them very much. But somebody can't let go of the past. They're just stuck in their heads. I also kind of feel like somebody could have prematurely quit their job. I don't even know what that means. Prematurely quit your job. Right? It feels like somebody might have quit their job and didn't consult the other person. And the other person felt completely blindsided and abandoned. And I feel like the other person is now questioning this person's, um, just questioning their whole character because it's almost like you put us in a weird position here. Like I thought that you wanted to be in this relationship. You wanted to be a unit, you know what I mean? But I feel like this other person is just out for themselves or thinking about themselves. 
Not only that, but with the deceitful card of the Seven of Swords with the Three of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, whomever this is, they feel like they're a coward, right? They're scurrying away. They're walking away. You know, they gave you the divorce papers while you were visiting your sick grandmother in the hospital. You know what I mean? Just doing some dirty shit. Because I feel like they're interested in starting a new life, possibly with a new person. Anyway, Capricorn, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you, Cap. Bye.